Argao Cebu, rich with natural resources. Coconut, one of Argao's natural products. We visited town and interviewed a store owner who collects coconut byproducts for a living. Mga kanusaka na siya mga kwan, mga kwan. Ako. Okay. All these coconuts are byproducts from these coconut farms. We're now on our way to some locals who own a coconut supply. They live in the peaceful parts of town rather than near the busy streets. After taking a rocky trip that took minutes away from the town center, we finally arrived in the outskirts of town. We interviewed their family about their business. Coconut byproduct. All stacked up along the road. All causing nothing but problems in disposal. All taking a long time to decompose. Day by day, noise pollution has been a problem in the society, especially in the urbanized areas. Long-term exposure to noise can cause harmful effects to the human body. What must we do to solve this problem in the environment? It is known that all natural fibers can absorb sound due to its porous material. One example is coconut, which is presumed to be abundant in Argao Cebu. Could this be the solution for noise pollution? Instead of disposing them, we put these coconuts into use. Here in the school's lab, we fabricated a sound absorber board using mainly the coconut fibers. Coconut core was shredded to thin pieces and then measured per sample. Sodium silicate, a non-toxic binding chemical, was then added to our coconut fibers. A 20% concentration of the sodium silicate is enough to bind one board. Sodium silicate is also known as water glass. We chose this because sodium silicate is known to be non-toxic and also it is known to be fireproof by nature. So theoretically, this might help slow down the process of burning in case of fire. Both components are now mixed to form the very matrix of our own sound absorber board.
They are mixed together to ensure that the coconut fibers bind to each other through the sodium silicate. Once this process has been done, it is now placed on a molder so that it would form its rectangular shape. The binded fibers are flattened out manually, using by hand or by steering them. The boards were compressed and dried over a period of time. This is the finishing product of the sound absorber board. The boards were tested in an acoustic chamber and data was obtained. We also tested and compared the X-ray absorber which is a commonly used sound absorber. Is the sound absorber effective? It has suggested that there was a significant decrease in sound in the low frequency region caused by the sound absorber board as shown in green. There was also a significant decrease not for the low frequency region but for the high frequency region caused by the X-ray absorber as shown in red. Low frequency noise is much more common than high frequency noise in the surroundings which makes our boards much more effective and useful. The same trend can be observed to the other two replicates. As the sound travels through the material, the sound waves cause vibrations in the air packets, and these air molecules rub against the matrix of this material, thus causing heat. If there is heat, there is a conversion of energy. Thus, sound energy decreases. With this application, a noise that is as loud as a busy street will turn into a noise that is as loud as a conversation. <laughs>